Hi, this is uh, the TI-84 guy. Hey, I, I wanted to take a couple minutes uh, and, and create a, a new video uh, that basically shows you how to use your TI-84 uh, calculator to um, kind of easily and quickly, and actually, I think more accurately solve um, problems on the new PSAT. Um, this particular question that I'm going to do is number 28. Um, it's taken from the calculator section on the PSAT, sample PSAT from the section 4. Um, and basically what we have here is we have an uh, inverted parabola, uh, quadratic uh, equation. We also have a line. And they've given us two points on, on the, explicitly given us two points on the uh, quadratic. And they've also given us two points on the line. So, um, if I were solving this problem, this is exactly how I would I would attack it if, if I um, saw something like this on the PSAT. The very first thing I would do is I would go to the stats key. And I'm going to do, I'm going to press enter and use the edit, and I'm going to do a linear regression, okay? So the very first thing I'm going to do is clear this list out because I'm going to use it, and I'm going to clear um, this list out as well. Use the clear and then press enter. Now I'm going to enter the coordinates. Okay, so the coordinates that I have for the line are 0, and then the other x-coordinate is 2, and then I'm going to go over to L2 and in, enter the corresponding um, y-coordinate. So it'll be a negative 9, and then it'll be a negative 1, press enter. So I've got two points um, on this line. So now I'm going to go back, hit the stat key, uh, arrow over to, right arrow over to the calc tab, and then it's going to be option 5. So if you look at this, you'll see option five is linear regression, or option four, excuse me, is linear regression. So we're gonna press four, and then you're gonna see this screen. So what it's basically saying is, we're storing the X coordinates in L1, and we're gonna store the Y coordinates in L2, and now the only other thing that you need to do is, I wanna be able to graph this. So I'm going to store the generated linear regression in a, a y uh, and y1 and this is how we do it you use the alpha key and then you use the trace key all right and you'll see that you've been given um, like 10 options here right so I'm going to store the generated equation in y1 so I press enter and then you just go down to the calculate um, tab or button and hit enter and it calculates um, the equation for a line and it's telling you that the slope of this line is 4 the y-intercept is a negative 9. If you look at the y equal screen, you'll see that it's been placed there, so it's ready to go. Now, the only thing I need to do now is I need to generate the equation for the quadratic function, all right? So, and before I go there, I, wanted, I want to jump here. Um, even though we were only given two points on the quadratic, we can use the symmetry of the quadratic to find another point, right? So if we know the vertex, and the vertex in this particular case is 0, 0, and we have a point here at 2, 4, we know that the vertex is split by the axis of symmetry, so over here it would be a negative 2 and at the same y value of 4, right? So using that same logic, we can come here and go, okay, we know the vertex is at 4, 19, and we know that one point is at 0, 3, so if um, we use the, if we use this point as the center, then we know that this point over here is going to be 8, 3. And again, the way we know that is the x value for the vertex is halfway between this and this. So if this from here, 0 to here is 4, we know that if we add 4 more, we get the x coordinate of the, of the new value. All right, so now we've got three points. So now we can generate the quadratic equation for our new, um, for the quadratic piece. So now again, we would go to stats, um, we would go to edit, okay, and we have information or numbers in there, so we're going to clear those out, go over to L1, clear, press enter, and now I'm just going to enter the coordinates. So it's going to be, it's going to be 0, and then 4, and then 8. Those are the x coordinates. And then we're going to hit the enter the corresponding uh, y coordinate. So it'll be 0, 3. So that'd be 3 there. And then it'll be uh, 19. And then it'll be 3 again. 
We've got three points. So now, again, we would go to the Stat key, and we're going to arrow over to the Calc tab. And we're going to go down, in this case, to Option 5, which is Quadratic Regression. Okay, so you press Enter. Now, again, we stored the X values in L1, the Y values in L2, and now we're going to store the calculated uh, equation and we want to put it in a different one. We don't put, want to put it in Y1 because it'll overwrite what we just put in there for the linear regression. So we're going to use the Y2 for this one. So you press Enter and then hit the Calculate button. Boom. And there you go. And as we would expect, this was a inverted um, parabola. So we would expect that the leading coefficient on the X squared term would be a negative one, and it is. So now if you go to the Y equals, you'll see both equations there. Now all we have to do is graph them and find the intersection. So here I'm going to go zoom, and then I'm going to use option zero. Option zero is zoom fit. Press that, and now it's going to print or graph. There is the line. And here comes the quadratic that we just generated. Now, there, are, as you can see, there are two intersections here. As we mentioned before, we want this one. Now, this equation or this uh, graph doesn't look quite like that one because my scale is a little different. So this one, even though it doesn't match this one per se, um, if, I, if I change the scales a little bit, I can make this one look more like that. But nevertheless, it's still telling us that there are two points of intersection. We want this one to the right. So, so the way that we find the intersection now is we're going to hit the second key and then we're going to hit trace and we're going to use option five. Option five is intersect. So press five, right? And so it's going to say, what's the first curve? The first curve is the line. So we press enter, no big deal there. Now it's saying the second curve. The second curve is the quadratic. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that this, uh, the calculator will find the correct intersection. As I mentioned, there are two here. We want to make sure we find the one to the right. So I um, just move the cursor over until I'm right um, near that intersection and press enter. And there you go. So it's going to say guess, press enter one more time. And it says that the intersection for this point is 615. So our answer would be, because we're looking for V, or the x coordinate would be 6. So v is equal to 6. We're done. Thank you.